like 9.30. I've been up since about 6. You may ask, Danielle, why would you wake up at 6? And I'm going to tell you that I woke up at 6 because when I was shooting those 4 or 5 days in a row and I had to wake up super early, I got used to it and I really enjoyed it. I think that waking up at 6 and going to bed around 10 or 11 is like optimal time. I feel really good. I feel like I accomplish more during the day. I can kind of chill and have time to myself in the morning, which is great. I enjoy that. So yeah, I think I'm going to make that my new schedule as often as I can. So woke up at 6. It's about 9.30 now. It's a little bit gloomy out today, so I'm a little bit slow. But we have a bunch of random things to do today. Uh, my boyfriend just left. He went to go to a meeting and then he's going back home. Uh, so I kind of have the day to myself and I'm just going to get a bunch of things done. My arms are so sore. That's why I keep <laughs> switching my arms holding the camera because I did Pilates yesterday and my they're dying. So I have a bunch of things to do today. Let's see. What do I have to do today? Let's look at my schedule. My schedule. Like I'm so important. <laughs> no, I just like to write things down because honestly it helps keep me focused. Let's see my schedule for today. Okay. Oh, today, my handy dandy daily planner. <clears throat> I have, I wrote down things I'm grateful for because you should do that every day. Just try and write down three things that you're grateful for. Even if they're really small because no matter what is going on in your life there's always something to be grateful for um so i'm gonna try all right i'm being real ambitious today i'm gonna try and do pilates and spin class i gotta get a wheat grass shot i have to send out some polaroids that people have purchased from my instagram um i have to go to hustler to get some lingerie and costumes I have to post on my OnlyFans and my Snapchat. Um, I have to call Audi. I have an Audi car and it has a recall on it. They've been calling me forever, so I have to figure out when I can get that fixed. I have to organize my Google Drive because right now it is a disaster and I love things that are organized. And I have to shoot a custom video and, oh, and I'm going to laser away. So Laser Away is like they do Botox, they do uh, facials, but mostly they do laser hair removal. That's like their main thing there. And I go there, I've gone there like six times already and pretty much I have no more hair left, which is amazing. And I'm talking about on my body, obviously. I do my underarms, my legs, and my bikini area. So I'm going there today, we're going to touch everything up, and I think after like the 10th time you go, like it won't grow back ever again. So, so far I'm loving the results, like even the little bit that grows back is like so sparse that you don't really even have to shave anymore, which is amazing and life changing, and it just is really smooth, the skin. So, you know, when you shave, you can like never really get it that smooth and i really recommend it for anyone because right now it's you know summer's coming up so for sure do that uh and i really like laser away they have a bunch of different locations so yeah um i guess you guys can just go with me about my day hopefully i get everything i need to get done done and i'll see you soon okay i'm in larchmont now I love this area, it's so cute. And my favorite juice place. Creation, if you haven't checked it out yet, do it. All locations are lit. How are you doing today? Hey, how are you? I'm vlogging, I won't put you in it. Um, can I go ahead and get a wheatgrass shot with parsley? And then... Do I need anything else? Oh, so I had my wheatgrass shot at Creation. Well, I wear these stupid headbands in my hair, but it looks like an egg. But 
I hate flyaways. I hate when I put my hair up and you get all those flyaways. And plus, I'm just gonna work out anyways. So, anyways, and then I stopped by Press Juicery and I got this juice. It's the strawberry almond, strawberries, almonds, beets, coconut water. It tastes like a milkshake. It's so good. So yeah. And now I'm gonna go to my appointment at Laser Wood. Let's go. Quick, easy, and painless. I'm done with my laser hair removal. Literally took like 10 minutes. The route is being calculated. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna meet up with my boyfriend now because he left his uh, laptop charger at my house. So now we're gonna meet up. And Please gonna drive lunch. to the route shown. And my car wants me to drive to the route shown. So I will see you guys at lunch. Okay, so we're here at Tokoya Organica Sunset and I got this bowl thing with quinoa, tofu, guac, kale, black beans and vegan cheese. We got a matcha because what is life? He got the same thing except with rice because he's on that eating whatever the fuck he wants life. And yeah, yum. <laughs> what? Now we're sitting at Coffee Bean. We just ate. Um, gonna kill a little bit of time before I go to spin. Um, yeah. Sunset Boulevard. People seem to think it's super exciting. I would have to disagree. Okay, so what are we doing again? Eating? Again. We went to spin and now we're at uh, Sage Vegan Bistro. And oh my god. This is some kind of sausage pesto pizza. This is pesto. what? Uh, pesto, pesto burger. Bean burger or something? Oh no, I think it's tempeh in there. It's the best one I've had. Alright, so he says that that's the best vegan burger he's had. I have to disagree just because I like guacamole. I like the fake meats. He likes the more healthy vegan burgers. But this pizza looks lit, so I'm gonna eat it. So much for making healthy decisions after spin. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna eat this. Hey guys. Okay, so it is 9.30 and I just got home. I got out of the bath. Looking real tired. I'm just gonna do laundry now. Have some green juice and yeah. I had an amazing day. I am beyond tired, I think, because I woke up so early. But I had such a great day. Um, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to do. There was more things I wanted to do. I thought I was just going to meet up with my boyfriend really quick and drop off the uh, laptop plug that he left at my house. But he's so sweet. We went and had lunch afterwards. And then after lunch, I had to go to spin. And he was just like, well, I'll go to spin with you, which is so cute. Like, any, like the way that my heart is eating vegan food with me and working out with you. Like, those are my things. So, it's really nice that he makes the effort. And I think at first he didn't really like spin class, but now I think he low-key likes it. So, that's fun. So, we went to spin, and then after spin, we're hungry. So, we went and ate at, you saw, uh, Sage. It was really, really amazing. I ate way too much. Super bloated now. I need to get back on that, like, healthy eating I've been eating a lot more gluten than I normally like to. I like to keep it gluten-free, pretty clean, but he's newly vegan, so he's enjoying all the delicious, not so healthy for you vegan places, and I'm just like, well, I'm not gonna say no to vegan pizza and milkshakes. And we're lucky enough to live in LA that has so many vegan options, just like amazing food, so. Yeah, blessed, but I do need to get back on that healthy eating. I'll remove you over here. I just have some, I'm gonna do some laundry. 
uh, just folding some dry stuff. But yeah, so it was an amazing day. Uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna probably go to bed after I fold all this and finish my green smoothie. Um, what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. I have a pretty busy day. I have to go get tested for my shoot on Monday. I have to spray tan. I have to get my nails done because they are looking real ratchet. We looking real ratchet up in here and we gotta look cute for Monday. So yeah, <clears throat> I have all that to do tomorrow and I also have some custom videos to make that I didn't get to today. I'm just way too exhausted. It's just not happening. Um, and then, oh, I have Pilates tomorrow. That should be fun. So yeah, just out here, out here trying to get the bag, out here trying to grind out, live my best life, eat all the vegan food, do all the workouts, have the best boyfriend, have the best dog. Like I am blessed. And uh, everyone should acknowledge their blessings, whether it be the end of the day, beginning of the day, both. I just really think that it's good to do that. Uh, even if you maybe are not fortunate enough to, you know, be in the be best position of your life, I really think that it's important to acknowledge the things that you do have when you do have them because we are all blessed in some way. And I don't want to get all preachy on you guys, but my life has really changed by acknowledging the things in my life that I am blessed with. And a lot of you guys may say, well, you know, you are lucky enough to have this and that. And it's like, nobody really knows the story behind everyone. You never know what people are going through. And everyone is blessed in some way. You know, you have a roof over your head, you get to eat good food, you have family, you have friends, uh, you're breathing, you can walk. Um, you get to uh, enjoy the weather wherever you may live, whether it be snowing or not snowing or warm. Uh, it's, all, it's all a blessing. And when you acknowledge those things out loud, even if it's to yourself at home and you acknowledge the things and you say, thank you universe, more please. And I know it sounds so cheesy, but it's changed my life. And hopefully you guys can maybe try it. Uh, it's in... A lot of the books that I've read, and I've mentioned them before, but my favorite one is Manifest Your Destiny by Wayne, Dr. Wayne Dyer. And um, yeah, if you want to pick it up, it's on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's like seven bucks. But that book was life changing. And I don't know what really got me into this rant today. I think it's just I realize how blessed I am, and recently how my life has just really changed for the better. Uh, when you can focus on the positive things in your life and not focus on things that you may think are negative um, because there's always a positive when you do focus on those things and you tell the universe thank you more please the universe knows what you're talking about and knows what more to give you so yeah that's just my little tip of my little advice or tip of the day but yeah I was just kind of sitting here thinking how grateful I am for all the influx of work uh, yeah, I have been putting in a lot of hard work for things, but um, yeah, just all the things that have come my way for having a roof over my head, for being blessed that I can move to California, for being blessed all the vegan food I get to enjoy, for being blessed all the people in my life, my dog, my car, everything, and um, yeah, I hope that you guys all have amazing positive things in your life too and amazing blessings and I love you all. I'm gonna leave you on that note because I'm just getting delirious because I'm tired and I love you guys and I will see you next vlog. Good night.